What's up guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we're going to go over another method in NBA 2K21 My Team. And guys, today we got the best method in the game. Before we get into it, smash that like button, drop the sub. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated, man. And yes, I made my face cam a little bit bigger. I hope you guys do enjoy that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways... Um, we got an insane MT making method. We got some crazy, 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 crazy methods. And as you guys can see by the thumb, it's looking fire. I hope so. Um, we got some cheese. Okay. If you guys have been grinding the game a lot, I didn't know, I didn't even really realize this, but these badges actually go for a lot of MT. Now, are they even worth using right now? Not whatsoever. They're not at all. So if I were you, I would probably go through every single badge you have and realistically just get rid of them i would hold on to range extender even though they're expensive and dead eye but other than that all these gold badges i have i'm gonna just get rid of them like realistically i'm not gonna use any of these bad boys anytime soon so i want to make some mt some extra mt man first off first thing i'm gonna say badges make sure to get rid of them that's probably a very very good method right now is they're just they're literally just badges you're not gonna use them these cards are not good enough until like 99 overalls come out at the end of the game so pretty much shoes and badges sell keep shoes some badges just get rid of while they're expensive but shoes are gonna rise okay there are some shoes that are expensive but they're going to rise next now we got the coaches first off coaches and some some playbooks okay so for some reason coaches don't work if you do search them up that way so i'm just gonna go by the diamond coaches are very expensive not only are they very expensive they're actually very good to the game if you do have diamond coaches they're literally so good so as you guys can see diamond coaches are like 60 something thousand mt like mike budenholz are 40 000 mt are people gonna buy these coaches for this much there is a possibility but 40 000 mt is a lot okay that's all i'm gonna say that is a lot of mt that's all i'm gonna say now amethyst coaches are also going for a lot of mt starting at twenty three thousand mt so if i were you if you guys want to make some mt right now check your collection out if not if you don't have any try them out in your um try sniping them out i sniped out one coach so far and it was a ruby coach and i sold them for ten thousand mt not only are amethyst coaches going for a lot but rubies are so are amethyst some sapphires are going for a decent amount why does it keep switching that's annoying but uh yeah wow my ruby coach went up from wow i sniped out a ruby coach for 250 mt wow no he's going for 18,000 mt i'm pretty sure the one i had was stats was it i don't know I, I don't remember i think it was terry stats but he's going for a lot of mt unless he's a sapphire i don't remember but i know for sure i did pull a ruby coach and he is going for very expensive amounts, unless it was a Sapphire coach. I don't even remember. But anyways, man, try sniping out some coaches. They're going for like a crazy amount of MT. Sapphire, 7,500 MT for a damn Sapphire coach. That's crazy. Emerald coaches are even going for a decent amount. You could try sniping out them. But here's another one, man. Playbooks. Playbooks are easier to snipe. I sniped out one Pistons playbook. For 250 MT, sold it for 14,000 MT. Let's see what the Pistons playbook's at now. And make sure you get the right playbook. The Pistons playbook, it's the Bronze Pistons playbook. If you didn't see my best playbook in NBA 2K21, my team, make sure to go check that out. As you guys can see, the Pistons playbook is a whopping 9,300 MT for a damn Bronze playbook. So 9,300 MT, I got one for 250 MT. Who would throw it up for 250 MT? A complete bozo. So I decided to snag that, scoop it up. Another playbook that's been pretty solid for people has been the Nets playbook for some odd reason. But the Nets playbook is at 4,900. Not bad. And then we got the Mavs playbook. Which Mavs playbook is it though? It's got to be the gold playbook. So yeah, the Mavs playbook's pretty decently expensive. There's not that much up there. There's one for 3,900 in which I might scoop because supposedly this playbook is pretty good. But yeah, I might, I might scoop it. So pretty much overall, what you want to do is 
Repeat playbooks. See what's going on around with playbooks. After the playbooks, man, head over to coaches. Look up badges, shoes. There's, I'm gonna show you two rare shoe cards, actually. There's one that's called the KDPE. Shout out Oko Dre for telling me this information. Um, let's see. So the KBPEs and the Kobe XIs are the most rare shoes in the game as of right now. Okay. We also got another pair of Jordans that are pretty rare. He did show me. But um, right now, is it worth investing in any of these shoes? Realistically, these shoes are probably going to go up to 40K. They have plus defense, plus this, plus that, plus this, plus that. And uh, let's go over it. So KD is going for like 20,000 MT. Yeah, dude, the KDPEs going for like 20,000 MT. So if I were you, man, if you want to scoop these shoes, try to make some profit, go ahead. If you want to snipe some shoes, make some profit. Go ahead, man. It's completely up to you. All I'm saying right now is that if you have any diamond shoes, I would not recommend selling them. I think they're going to go up in value. If you think about it, 2900 for a pair of diamond shoes is kind of a snag. I might pick up some shoes, man. Phone posit right here. Block, eye dev, defensive rebounding, strength, and vert. Like, that's perfect for a center. Like, these shoes for 2800 you can literally apply to a ruby center, and they can become a beast. Like, in my opinion... I would honestly recommend sniping diamond shoes as well. But overall, coaches might be the move. Coaches, at like diamond coaches, Amethyst coach is going for that much. You never know what people are going to throw them up for. People might throw up an Amethyst coach for 10K. They're going to sell at 20K. That's the method I'm saying, man. I'm telling you right now that Amethyst coaches might be a way of sniping. Same with diamonds, same with rubies. These cards are very rare. I don't understand why. They're very hard to pull. All I know is that 2K is definitely going to release something where packs are definitely a lot easier to pull. But other than that, man, these are some easy snipe, me snipe methods. Also, quick sell some of your gold shoes. Just honestly, if you have bronze shoes, silver shoes, quick sell them. If you have gold shoes, check your price quick, then sell them. Um, other than that, man, check your badges. If you have any shooting badges, they most likely go for a decent amount. Like green machines going for like 2,500. That's a good badge. There's a lot of good badges in here, guys. Make sure to try it out. Other than that, hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. You guys are goaded. Have a good one. Peace.